Hey, what's up? In this Lightroom tutorial, I want to show you a quick and easy way to add a cool looking local glow slash light spill effect by only using local adjustments inside of Lightroom. So no Photoshop needed for this. And let me preface this by saying this works best on such sunset or sunrise shots or even daytime shots. But in my experience, it doesn't really work with darker nighttime shots with lots of blue color tones. But let's not waste too much time talking. Let's jump right into it. I've already done the basic editing for this shot. Now the only thing that's missing is some subtle glow, which should simulate the sunshine coming over those mountains. So let's grab the radial filter tool and then let's drag a shape just above the mountains. Something like this. Keep in mind, we want to have some darker areas inside of that radial filter for a better effect. And since we want to have this effect inside the circle, we are going to invert this radial filter. And also we want to have a soft effect. So we are going to increase the feather all the way up. And now comes the cool and easy part. To create the glow, I can just increase the blacks all the way up and you will immediately see what's going to happen in that area. This will just add this nice subtle glow without overexposing anything inside. Now, of course, we can further adjust this setting. So instead of just increasing the blacks, we can further enchance it by dropping the clarity, which will make the area inside the circle a bit softer. And since this is a sunset shot, we may also want to warm up this area by simply increasing the temperature. But I suggest to not go overboard with this setting right here. Okay, now in this case we have a subtle looking glow effect. If you want to have something more visible and stronger, that's not a big problem. We just grab the filter we just created, right click on it and just say duplicate. And now we basically have double effect. But what I like to do in this case is just to play around with the size of the radial filter. So in this case, make it bigger and also add some width to it. And I can even rotate it a little bit to make it fit the mountain slope on the right side of the image and drag it more into the valley. And this way we can work our way up to the desired effect by just duplicating all those radial filters and making the effect stronger and stronger each time. And as you can see in the before and after comparison, this really does make a huge difference. It's just a matter of trying it several times and just learning to create this effect. So that's it for this quick and short Lightroom tutorial. I hope this was useful and interesting. If you have any questions regarding the video or any suggestions for other videos, then please let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.